We are now reconvening in open session. We will consider action on closed session items. Mrs. Drew. Thank you, Mr. Bedeen. Mr. President, I move that the Board of Trustees approve Demetrius Martin for the position of Executive Director of Transportation. Second. We have a motion by Mrs. Drew and a second by Mrs. James. Do we have discussion? Hearing none, please vote by show of hand. It's not yours. <laughs> motion passes unanimously. Mr. Rosenthal. Yes. I move that the Board of Trustees approve Brian Gwynn for the position of Chief Financial Officer. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Rosenthal and a second by Mrs. James. Do we have discussion? Yes. I want to make sure that as we um, vote on this, um, vote on Mr. Bryan to this position, that he brings a lot more uh, definitions and words, Latin words, to this position. Um, I need to be able to learn at least one word per per month in this new role. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Please vote by show of hand. Motion passes unanimously. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Moving along. Um, 8A1B is our planning and decision making process. This is our local board policy. Do we have any discussion? M Mrs. James. Well, I can just give uh, an introduction. So this is um, a rewrite of B BQ, and it's the overarching policy for the planning and decision-making process. So we're doing this one this month, and then um, in the coming months, you'll see the, uh, this is sort of the overarching, you'll see the ones that fit underneath it as we go through the process. So it's exciting. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. James, and to the uh, committee for your hard work. Next, we were moving on to 8A2, review the 2019-20 budget amendment one. Do we have any discussion? 823, I'm sorry, 8A2. Three, review Fort Bend ISD fiscal and budgetary strategy. Hmm. Right. Eight A four review the Fort Bend ISD continuing disclosure strategy. Go ahead, Mrs. James. I'll just say I think it's a good idea that we have this coming forward, and I think that it's. Um, a great next step for us to define what our processes and uh, procedures are, our policy is around this, and for the board to direct that, that and um, and then be able to keep tabs on it. So I saw in there about the reporting back to the board of trustees after, um, and that being in the public purview to see what was done and what's been accomplished and what the you know, what everything looked like, so that we have a cycle that um, keeps the process. Um, fresh and in the best possible, um, I guess, I um, can't think of what word I want to say, but I wanted, I guess it monitored is what I wanted to say. So um, I think this is a great step. Agreed. Mr. Rice. Well, I wanted to agree with Mrs. James and look forward to receiving uh, updates from you, Mr. Gwynn. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Moving on to 8A5, review of the previous meeting minutes. All is good. Moving on to 8B1A, review purchase of Discovery Education Incorporated streaming services. Mr. Rosenthal. <coughs> Yes, thank you. Um, I'm, j I'm just curious, um, can somebody discuss how this is used in our curriculum? Um, 
Is it used by both curriculum and instruction as well as classroom teachers? Uh, are there links in the in the curriculum? Okay. That's how that works. Okay. And then, so a, a teacher can embed some of these things into their lesson plans if they're, if they're in a link format? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Moving along. 8C1A, review the purchase of MESA transcript and schedule auditing platform. Mr. Rosenthal. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, so we're doing this because Skyward can't necessarily handle the task as well, right? As well as this program can? Well, what I would say with this particular program, um, it gives us the counselors uh, an additional auditing feature. So it will flag particular things so that we can, we have another stop gap to ensure that all students graduate with the credits and meet all graduation requirements. Okay, and so so we're not paying for any additional tools that are already in Skyward, right? right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, okay. Yeah. Currently, uh, it doesn't exist in Skyward. Perhaps okay. in the future, they may built into Okay, because when I read this, it sounded like, you know, there, there are tools in Skyward that can be used, but okay, I just want to make sure that we can't not recoup some of the money uh, by dropping some. Not exact uh, auditing okay. Uh, okay. feature that they have. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rosenthal. 8D1, review approval of resolution designating a delegate and an alternate to the 2020 General Assembly of the Houston Galveston Area Council. So we need some names. Mr. Rice. I'm going to nominate. <laughs> no. Who has, uh, my question is, who has served in this role in the past? And do we have a, an explanation of what is involved with this and why we're asked to participate and how many meetings and that kind of thing? <clears throat> I do not have that information, Mr. Rice. Mrs. James, can you answer that better? I can give a, a rough overview of that. So <coughs> each district each school district in the greater Houston area, the Houston Galveston area, gets a representative, and they serve in the general kind of in the general assembly. But then, of all of those, one is becomes the school district representative on the steering committee. Is that what it's called, or the or the the voting council? So, in the past, I have been the an at-large person in the General Assembly and I have uh, an other and another different um, trustees from different district uh, one from Magnolia who done it from a, for a couple of years has served as the uh, the voting ISD representation I don't know which one of which one of us is now is currently the representative I didn't do a very good job of preparing for this specific item, so Mr. Rice, if you don't mind, this week we can get you those details before the next meeting, and um, we'll have a better idea of what that looks like. But we need somebody probably to be, yeah, to, So I don't know who has the time to do it. Honestly. Well, that's the problem. So what, and <coughs> I, so I'll just chime in, because I've been, I've been this delegate in the past, and I have served on the board, the HGAC board. Um, as one of the ISD representatives, there are usually two, and what they do is you p you participate. Whoever we would de uh, nominate as our delegate and vote on as our delegate would participate in a phone call with the delegates from the other school districts, and then you decide amongst yourselves who has the time and the inclination to serve on the board, um, and then that person serves to represent the ISDs. Um, from our area, for lack of a better word. Um, so you don't necessarily have to serve on the board, um, but uh, you can attend the meetings and report back. I know when, when I served, I would attend the meetings and I would give a special report, report back and let everybody know what was going on. In particular, if there are things that they're considering that impact the ISDs, um, sometimes there's some financial things that impact us. I know Hurricane Harvey is, mm -hmm. comes recently to mind. I wasn't on it then, but 
was a lot of planning and financial uh, items on the agenda. Um, and so there are people on there from the various cities, uh, local, uh, basically local governing authorities. Yeah, and I think Floyd Emery might be on there. He did. I don't know if he's he still serving. Has he rotated off now? Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. we probably, you're right, Jason, <coughs> I think we need a little more information. I don't know who our current delegate is either. I don't remember. But that's the basic um, so responsibility. I was a part of that initial call a few years ago, now that you brought that up. And um, when we were on the phone, we decided amongst the other um, people that were on the phone who was going to be the representative. And it wasn't me because I wasn't able to dedicate the time. And it's once uh, a month. So it's, it's, it's once a month. And it only lasts about an hour. They're very efficient. Um, and you, they send you reading t materials beforehand. You show up. You can ask questions. You vote. You participate. It's about an hour. It's in the Greenway Plaza area. So Who's willing? Allison. <laughs> Would you be willing to do that? I'm asking you. Okay. Well, um, what's the best way we can handle this so we can? Well, we can send an overview. We can we can send an overview to the whole board. You know, with Mr. Rice's original request. Okay. I'm out. Okay. We'll send a review with some details this week about what it looks like, and then um, next week we can finalize who that may be, and we'll vote on it. And an alternate. And an alternate. Two names. <laughs> All right. Just for the record, the show of hands who has done it, that would be me. <laughs> so I put in my time. All right. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Please vote by show of hand. <laughs> All right. 8D2A, review purchase of after-school enrichment services and related items. Moving along to 8D2B, review purchase of athletic trainer, supplies, equipment, and related items. 8D2C, review purchase of spring sports apparel, equipment, and related items. 8E, review easement between Fort Bend ISD and the city of Sugarland for the replacement of a storm water pipeline and outfall. 8E2, review easement with Centerpoint Energy for electrical pole and guy wire anchor installation at Clements High School. 8E3, review purchasing interlocal agreement with Humble ISD. So I had a, just a really brief question about this as I was reading through this uh, last night. So why Humble? I'm not picking on them, but I mean, wh why I can of, answer of all that. the other, other districts? Well, they, they actually approached us. They're, they want to do a contract with Kickstart. And because we've got um, a good tight contract, they want to access our procurement. So just like we do when we go to other cooperatives, sometimes we get to leverage a procurement that's already been performed. Mm -hmm. So they were looking for a district with a contract with Kickstart, so they approached us about the possibility. All right. Thank you very much. 8E4A, mm -hmm. Review Purchase of Student Recruitment Services. Mr. Rosenthal. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, just in, in general, I, you know, based on the first year, it uh, looked like we had some good results from these folks. So, and I, I like the fact that it's kind of, you know, kind of pay as you go, or you know, they don't they don't recruit anybody, they don't get paid. Right. So, kind of familiar with that. 
<laughs> I was say, how do you know Mr. this? <laughs> Mr. President, if I may, just to recognize, we do have Mr. Adrian Bond from CASA, who was the awarded vendor here this evening, who did come. So we wanted to point that out as well. Thank you, Mr. Well, good Mr. job Bond. so far. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. 8E4B, review the purchase of servicing of cold beverage vending machines and concessions with sugar-free drinks. All right. Sometimes, yeah. 8E4C, review the purchase of pharmacy benefit management services. Eight E four D review the purchase of fleet equipment, supplies, services, and related items. Quite a few vendors on this list. It's a lot of items. Yeah. A lot of stuff. All right. Eight five or eight E five A review the design services agreement with Hoyt Zollers and Corp. Incorporated for Marshall High School field lighting replacement. What's that? Hewitt Zollers. Eight E five B. Review the use of the 2014 bond program contingency as proposed. Eight E six A. Review construction services agreement with job order contractor Jamail and Smith Construction for Sartarsha Middle School Gymnasium Repairs. 8E6B, review construction services agreement with Prime Contractors Incorporated for district-wide MDF IDF upgrades. 8E6C, review revised Elevator Project Budget and Construction Services Agreement with Job Order Contractor E-Contractors. 8E6D, review the use of the 2018 bond program contingency is pre presented. All right. Next on the agenda are audience responses to agenda items posted for this meeting. We have none. We do not have any action items on this evening agenda, so may I have a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>